considering yourself as a fresher or maybe someone who is under a job but still underpaid and now looking to make a job switch what could be the minimum skills that you will need to learn in order to get into analytics to land a job with a salary of 50000 rupees per month let's discuss this thing today right after this awesome intro So a lot of people are working hard and hustling enough in order to become a data analyst, data scientist or maybe a data engineer. But on the other side there will be few people who will have a different perspective. There are a lot of people who are desperately looking for a job or maybe desperately looking for a job switch. And for these people the idea is not to become an efficient data scientist or data engineer. All they want is to utilize the opportunities within the field of analytics in order to tackle their respective problems in their life. And to be honest, I don't find anything wrong with this because personally I have spoke with few people over LinkedIn who have a situation like they are under some sort of education loan or home loan or maybe they are the only earning member in their family and now they are desperately looking for a job within the field of analytics to tackle these temporary problems in their lives so in today's topic we are going to talk around the solution for such people with similar issues and we will discuss in brief that what are the minimum skills and topics that you need to learn in order to land a job that can pay you around 50000 rupees per month as a salary and right before we start there are some prerequisites that you need to keep in mind few basic things that you would be expected to aware of even before you start your preparation first will be a good and decent communication skill where you can communicate efficiently with your colleague and stakeholders and second would be basic understanding of relational data and excel i think these are the very basic prerequisite understanding that you will supposed to have right before you start hunting for a job within the field of analytics so let's start with skill number 1 that should be sql structured query language also known as sql is an extremely powerful tool in order to store manipulate and query data from a database and mastering this single skill can unlock endless opportunities in your career i mean of course you will not become a data scientist just by learning this one single skill but there are a lot of other job roles as well that you can grab by learning this powerful tool and you can also get a very good hike or a good package in that job role you don't necessarily need to spend a huge amount of money in order to buy a course just to learn this skill in fact there are lots of awesome free tutorials available on youtube itself that you can use in order to learn and master sql and you will be able to do it successfully if you stay consistent for like 6 to 8 weeks and once you are done learning the basics then for practicing purpose you can also visit few sites like w3 school hacker rank and strata scratch etc the second skill would be python and i'm specifically talking about numpy and pandas these two libraries numpy and pandas are two major libraries from the python programming language that is widely used for data wrangling data analysis purpose and please understand that i am not talking about learning the entire python programming language to become a python developer but i am suggesting to learn at least these two libraries that will help you a lot learning numpy and pandas once you are done with sql will work like a cherry on the cake and then you will get an added advantage and your area of opportunity will expand and after sql learning these two libraries will be very easy the syntax as well is very similar to sql only and again just going by the free resources on youtube itself and staying consistent for around 6 to 8 weeks it will be sufficient enough to gain a strong grip on these two libraries but keep in mind whether it is sql numpy pandas or any other tool only learning it particularly is a different thing but you have to be stay in practice as well that matters the most third skill would be data visualization so using analytical tools like sql numpy or pandas now you are done with fetching cleaning and pre processing the data but now for the presentation purpose it would not be a suggested approach or a good idea to use your jupiter notebook or your choice of ide in front of your stakeholders and here comes the need of a data visualization tool or a bi tool there are lots of bi and data visualization tool available in today's market but tableau and power bi are the most popular choices very easy to learn and good to go options i would suggest that you spend some time in creating around 3 to 5 attractive dashboards on each of these 
API tools. Again, you can refer to the free resources available on YouTube. That will be very much helpful. And once you are done with this, you will start feeling confident around your presentation abilities as well. Fourth thing should be storytelling and communication skills. So after following all the ideas so far, you should be feeling very confident and efficient enough in terms of analytics. But there is still one final ingredient left in order to reach the perfection. And yes, we are talking about the skill of storytelling and efficient communication. This is that one skill that separates an excellent data analyst or a business analyst from the good ones. So in an organization, your colleagues and other stakeholders might not have a very good understanding around the complex work that you have done with the help of your tech skills. But what they will take away is the value that you have created for the business and conveying the same thing with the help of your storytelling skills. And once you conquer doing this particular thing, you will become absolutely unbeatable in the market. So that is it. This is pretty much everything that you need to know and become efficient with in order to grab a package of 5 to 8 LPA in India. That should be coming somewhere around 50,000 rupees as a salary. You can do this irrespective of your background, irrespective of your work experience. But you need to make sure that you have done a lot of projects, a lot of practice around data wrangling, data cleaning, pre-processing with the help of tools that we have discussed so far. And your storytelling skills, presentation skills should be on point. And by the way, 5 to 8 LPA is an average number that I'm giving to you. It is definitely not the limit. And I hope that you have found this video helpful on this platform. I'm trying to create this kind of helpful and informative content in order to spread awareness and educate people who are trying to step into the field of analytics. And if you also like watching this kind of content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like below. This will encourage me a lot in order to come up with more helpful videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, then please also consider watching this one where I have shared my experience of achieving 350% hike and I have also shared the tips throughout the video that can be very much beneficial for you as well. You were watching Pivot Point. Thank you very much for your time today.